Question number 5. Compare the following answers. If you see the first one, 7 root 2 and 5 root 3. So we need to first simplify them. So we know that 7 root 2 can be written as since the order of this third is 2. So when 7 comes inside, it takes the power of order that is 2, 7 square into 2. And 7 square is 49 into 2 square root of 98 also 5 root 3 can be written as since the order of the third is 2 so 5 when comes inside it takes the power of 2 into 2 that is 25 into 2 and 25 into 2 is 50 here if you observe 98 is greater than 50 Therefore, square root of 98 is greater than square root of 50. Where square root of 98 is 7 root 2 is greater than 5 root 3. Now, we will see the second one. We know since the order is same and it is in simplified form, you can directly compare them. So, here 247 is less than 274 therefore square root of 247 is less than square root of 274 question number 3 if you see we know we need to simplify this 2 root 7 since the order is 2 this can be done as 2 square into 7 when 2 square is 4 into 7 and 4 into 7 is 28 square root of 28 if you observe after simplifying 2 root 7 you are getting square root of 28 and the other term is square root of 28 therefore you can say that 2 root 7 is equal to square root of 28 second uh, question number 4 we know Again, we need to simplify both the terms. So, 5 root 5 can be written as square root of 5 square into 5. Square root of 5 is 25 into 5 and 25 into 5 is 125. Also, we can simplify the second part that is 7 root 2 and in this can be written as 7 square into 2. 7 square is 49 into 2. And 49 into 2 is square root of 98. Now you can compare the terms. Here, 125 is greater than 98. Therefore, square root of 125 is greater than square root of 98. Therefore, you can say that 5 root 2 is greater than 7 root 2. Similar way, we will solve sum number 5. We know. 4 root 42 can be written as 4 square into 42 which is equal to square of 4 is 16 into 42 so when you multiply 16 into 42 you get square root of 672 therefore value for 4 root 42 is square root of 672 also we will simplify the second term that is sir 9 root 2 is equal to 9 square into 2 and square of 9 is 81 into 2 so when you multiply 81 into 2 is 162 so 9 root 2 is equal to square root of 162 now we will compare both the terms since both are in the simplified form therefore 672 is greater than 162 that is square root of 672 is greater than square root of 162 therefore 4 root 42 is greater than 9 root 2 similar way we can solve sum number 6 we know 5 root 3 can be written as 
5 when goes in, inside it takes 5 square into 3 where 5 square is 25 into 3 that is 25 into 3 is so root 75 also 9 can be written as square root of 81 since both should be in the form of a sir therefore 75 is less than 81 that is root 75 is also less than root 81 therefore you can say that 5 root 3 is less than 9 see sum number 7 we have 7 and 2 root 5 we know 7 can be written as square root of 49 also 2 root 5 can be simplified as 2 square into 5 2 square is 4 and 4 5 side is 20 so you can compare both the sets now therefore here 49 is greater than 20 therefore square root of 49 is greater than square root of 20 that is 7 is greater than 2 root 5 Question number 6. Simplify. 5 root 3 plus 8 root 3. We know both are similar certs. So we remember the operations of the similar certs. So we will be using those properties. So 5 root 3 plus 8 root 3. Well, you can see there is an addition operator and you can add these certs since you have like certs. So 5 plus 8 is 13 root 3. Similar way, we know 9 root 5 minus 4 root 5 plus root 125 is equal to. If you see first and second term, if you see first and second term are similar search, so you can directly subtract it. 9 minus 4 is 5 root 5 plus root 125. We can simplify this serve. So 5 root 5 plus 125 can be written as 25 into 5. That is 5 root 5 plus. Where square root of 5 is 5 root 5. Now if you see both the terms are similar serves. Therefore 5 plus 5 is 10. So 10 root 5 is the answer for 9 root 5 minus 4 root 5 plus root 125 is equal to 10 root 5 Question number 3 We have 7 root 48 minus root 27 minus root 3 We need to simplify these two terms So these two terms can be written as 7 48 is 16 threes are minus 27 is 9 threes are minus root 3 this is 7 square root of 16 is 4 root 3 minus square root of 9 is 3 root 3 minus root 3 7 fours are 28 root 3 if you see these two terms are similar certs so minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 root 3. Now again these are similar certs. You can subtract it. 28 minus 4 is 24 root 3. Therefore we simplify the form of 7 root 48 minus root 27 minus root 3 is equal to 24 root 3. Uh, similar way we can solve the fourth one. We know root 7 minus 3 upon 5 root 7 plus 2 root 7 if you see the first and the third term are similar certs so you can first add them root 7 plus 2 root 7 is 3 root 7 minus 3 upon 5 root 7 this can be further simplified as cross multiplication 5 3 is 15 root 7 Below this you have 1, so 1 into minus 3 is 3, root 7, and 5 1s are 5. If you see the numerator, 
root 7, root 7, so these are similar sets. So 15 minus 3 is 12 root 7 upon 5. So this can be simplified 12 upon 5 root 7 is the answer for root 7 minus 3 upon 5 root 7 plus 2 root 7. Question number 7. Multiply and write the answers in the simplest form. See the first one. 3 root 12 into root 18. First we will simplify these thirds and then multiply the value. We know 3 root 12 into root 18 can be done as 3. 12 can be done as 4 into 3 into 18 can be done as 9 into 2. So 3 into square root of 4 is 2 root 3 as it is into root 45 can be further simplified as 42 into 9 fives are 45. So 42 into square root of 9 is 3 root 5. Four, 3 twos are 6, 3 fours are 12 root 5. So simplified form of the answer is 3 root 12 into 7 root 15 is equal to 126 root 5. Question number 3. If you see you have 3 root 8 into root 5. So we know 3 root 8 into root 5. First we will simplify this third. 3 into 4 root 2 into root 5. Because 8 can be written as 4 into 2. When you know the square root of 4 is 2, root 2 into root 5. 3 2 is 6, 2 into 5 is 10. So this can be written as 6 root 10. So simplified of 3 root 8 into root 5 is 6 root 10. Similar way, we will solve the fourth one. We know 5 root 8 into 2 root 8. If you see both are similar search, so you can directly multiply 5 2 za and root 8 into root 8. 5 2 za 10 and this will be 8 8 za 64. And we know square root of 64 is 8. So 8 times are 80. So 5 root 8 into 2 root 8 is equal to 80. Question number 8. Divide and write the answers in the simplest form. If you see the first question, root 98 divided by root 2. So we know this can be written as root 98 divided by root 2 can be written as root 98 upon root 2. Since the order of both the thirds is same, you can put them under one root that is square root of 98 upon 2. 2 1s are, 2 4s are, 9s are. So this is square root of 49 and square root of 49 is 7. Therefore root of 98 divided by root 2 is equal to 7. Now we will see the second one. We know that root 125 divided by root 50 can be written as root 125 upon root 50. Since the orders are same, we can take them under one root. So 125 upon 50. Both are the factors of 5. So 5 tens are 5 twos are 5 za 5 twos are 5 5 za so the simplified form is therefore answer is root 5 upon 2 therefore root 125 divided by root 50 is root 5 upon 2 question number 3 if you see it's root 54 divided by root 27, we know this can be written as root 54 
डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ट्वेंटी सेवन रूट फिफ्टी फोर अपॉन रूट ट्वेंटी सेवन सिंस द ऑर्डर इज सेम वी कैन प्रूव दिस अंडर वन रूट ट्वेंटी सेवन वन जा ट्वेंटी सेवन टू जा सो आंसर इज रूट टू सो रूट फिफ्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ट्वेंटी सेवन इज रूट टू See the last sum from this section. We know this can be written as root three hundred and ten divided by root five. That is root three hundred and ten upon root five. Since the orders are same, we can write them in the same root. Five five zero, five six zero thirty, ten two zero. So answer is root sixty two. So Square root of 310 divided by square root of 5 is equal to root of 62. Question number nine. Rationalize the denominator for the given search. If you see the first one, we have 3 root 5 is equal to. If you see in a denominator, you have a search. We have seen the rationalization of a search. We need to multiply with the same sum and divide it. So what I am doing, whatever you have in the denominator part in the sum, you will multiply and divide. So this can be the last three root five upon root five into root five is root twenty five, and square root of twenty five is five. So this is three upon five root five. So this way you can rationalize. The denominator. That means we have to remove the third from the denominator. See the next one. We know then one upon square root of fourteen can be the last one upon square root of fourteen. Since in the denominator you have square root of fourteen, we we'll multiply and divide by square root of fourteen. Therefore, one into root fourteen is root fourteen. And root 14 and root 14 is 196. Where square root of 14 as it is in the numerator, but the square root of 196 is 14. So 1 upon root 14 can be rationalized as root 14 upon 14. You will see the third one. We know 5 root 7. If you see in the denominator, you have third as Root seven. So you multiply divided by root seven. So five upon root seven into root seven upon root seven. This can be written as five root seven. Root seven root seven is root forty nine. Here five root seven upon square root of forty nine is seven. So answer is five upon seven root seven. After rationalizing five upon root seven. Let us start with question number four. We know six upon nine root three. If you observe, root three is the third part. So while rationalizing, I'll be multiplying both the terms. That is six upon nine root three into root three upon root three. Therefore, this can be written as six root three upon nine into root nine. This can be done as six root three upon nine into three because square root of nine is three. Three ones are three twos. So answer is two upon nine root three. Similar way, we'll solve the last sum from the section. We know in the denominator you have a third root three. So I multiply and divide by root three. So 11 root 3 as it is, root 3 into root 3 is root 9, and square root of 9 is 3. Therefore, this can be written as 11 upon 3 root 3. I hope you have understood practice set 2.3. Thank you.